And this program was filmed entirely at the Marine Corps Recruiting Depot in San Diego, California. These are actual hand-to-hand self-defense classes as presented to Marine Corps recruits. The drill instructor will present the basic moves of the line technique of self-defense. Each of these moves is a response to certain types of attack. It is designed to be a simple system that is adaptable for use with other forms of self-defense techniques. You will need to work with a partner, studying the moves outlined in each lesson, and then practicing each movement as the recruits do. It is important to train your muscles to react instinctively, quickly, and decisively when threatened. To do this, you must practice repeatedly and extensively. Before each practice, warm up your body with a five-minute jog or walk, followed by a five-minute stretching program. Each movement is broken down into isms, short phrases that describe the steps of each move. Use these isms to help you learn and remember the steps. Repeat the isms as you practice to help you speed the learning process. Be sure to pay careful attention to the safeties the DI outlines for each move. The moves you are practicing could result in serious injury. The utmost care must be taken at each step so you do not injure your partner. At all times, use caution and common sense. Do not attempt any move that you are unsure about or feel could be unsafe for either you or your partner. For your safety, if you suffer any ailments, consult a physician before working out with this product. And if you are sick or in pain while you are exercising, stop. Consult a physician if discomfort persists. There are four separate line classes, starting with line 1-1, one, one, line 1-2, one, 2-1, two, two, one, and 2-2. Two, two. You understand that? Yes, sir! So you'll be out here four times learning different movements. You understand that? Yes, sir! What these movements are is to defend yourselves in combat, you understand that? Yes, sir! We're going to teach you certain movements to, to use so you can defend yourself if you ever come in a combat situation, in a hand-to-hand situation, you understand that? Yes, sir! Who knows what a dojo is? Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dojo. It's where you practice, you understand that? Yes, sir! In martial arts, a dojo is where you practice the movements, you understand that? Yes, sir! In my line pit is my dojo, you go. Yes, sir! I teach you the movement on my podium, and then we're gonna go out into my line pit and you and do it on each other, you understand that? Yes, sir! Today we're gonna to learn three movements. First two movements are controlling techniques. Movements that you would use as if you are on patrol, patrol or on duty and you need to apprehend an individual, but you don't need to hurt him, you understand that? Yes, sir! And the third movement you, learn, you will learn today is the actual killing technique. When you get done executing this movement, you will kill your partner, you understand that? Yes, sir! In that combat situation, you will kill your enemy, you understand that? Yes, sir! You will not hurt that recruit today, because there are safeties that we're going to use so we don't hurt nobody, you understand that? Yes, sir! We don't want no one to get hurt, you understand that? Yes, sir! Now, once again, we start from our recovery stand. Feet shoulders apart, heels on lines, hands get fist. When we get out in my dojo, we're going to be about one arm's distance from each other. Good to go? Yes, sir! Facing each other, squad versus squad. Good to go? Yes, sir. And the first move we're going to learn today is the wrist lock. What is it? Wrist lock, sir. Well, what is it? Wrist lock, sir. My attacker is going to execute an open hand lapel grab to my chest. It's locked me chest, chest level. You understand that? Yes, sir. Fingers extended and joined. Thumb along the hand. You understand that? Yes, sir. What he's simulating, he's simulating someone grabbing you on the chest. You understand that? Yes, sir. Hello, on my attack, you sound like I'll just kill you, understand that? Yes, sir. My demonstrator will, will, ex- will execute my open head of hell grab. Here we go. Oh, kill! Hey, just like so, you understand that? Yes, sir. My ready one is grab, twist, grab. What is it? Grab, twist, grab. No, what is it? Grab, twist, grab. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to take, from here, you're going to take your right hand and you're going to reach, you're going to place your right thumb on the back of his hand, centered, you understand that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, the main four fingers are going to get wrapped around the meaty portion of his hand. You understand that? Yes, sir. That's the grab. You're going to take that hand, that first hand that you grab, and you're going to twist it. This is the twist. You're going to twist it so the palm is facing him, and your elbow is tucked in, just like port arm. Have we learned port arms yet? Yes, yes sir. And just like port arm, you keep the elbow in tight. His fingers, his fingers are pointing towards the sky. Good to go. Yes, sir. That's my twist. Now, for my last part, my grab, you're going to take your left hand, and mirror image what you just do with the right hand. When you get done, 
one thumb or underneath the knuckle line, and your four fingers are, are above his wrist line, which is this area right here. You understand that? Yes, sir. Now, if you have big hands, hey, you're going to take the fingers, you're going to pass the wrist line, and you're going to stick them out just like so. Yes, sir. All you want is grab, twist, grab. What is it? Grab, twist, grab. Right thumb on the back of that first hand. Do it. Aye, sir. Look, the thumb, the thumb gets placed on the back of the center of his hand. Take that hand and twist it so that the palm is facing him. Do it. All right, sir. Mirror image, what you just do with the right hand. Do it. All right, All right sir. No, do it. All right, sir. That's my ready one. Grab, twist, grab. You understand that? Yes, sir. Now, my ready two is bend and drive. What is it? Bend and drive, sir. You, you want to make his palm touch his palm. You understand that? Yes, sir. And you're going to try to see with your right foot. You understand that? Yes, sir. Driving him to the deck. He's going to land on his back, and you're going to lock his arm out with your left knee. Make sure you stand up straight. Good to go? Yes, sir. Here we go. My ready two is bend and drive. What is it? Bend and drive, sir. Here we go. Ready, two. Bend and drive. Stand up straight. Left knee locks out the arm, not the right knee. You should be standing up straight. Now, make sure your thumbs underneath the knuckle line. Make sure your fingers are wrapped around the knee portion is palm and that they're not below the wrist line. Now, when I tell you to, you're going to apply pressure on his hand three times. You will let go of the pressure every time he sounds off for loudest to kill. You understand that? Yes, sir. Now, my kill is going to be loud and viciously. You understand that? Yes, sir. You don't sound off with a kill until he sounds, or until you feel that pressure. Good to go? Yes, sir. Do it now. Just like you do when you do prayer arms. Now, my ready two is bend and drive. Bend that hand to the outward side of his prayer arm. Straighten your arms out. Lock, trace through the right foot, and then lock his arm out with the left knee. My ready two is bend and drive. What is it? Bend and drive. Here we go. Two. Bend and drive. Stand up straight. Lock his arm out with your left knee. Go ahead and apply pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My ready one is grab, twist, grab. What is it? Grab, twist, grab. Ready, run. Grab, twist, grab. My ready two is bend and drive. What is it? Bend and drive. Ready, two. Bend and drive. Stop it, two. Stop it. Apply pressure three times. Do it. Kill, kill, kill. We're going to move on to the second movement you're going to learn today. Which is almost the same as the first movement with the wrist lock. You understand that? Yes, sir. The ism is the same, so you're going to pick it up a lot quicker. It's called the reverse wrist lock. What is it? The reverse wrist lock, sir. No, we sound tired. What is it? The reverse wrist lock, sir. Now, the feet are going to be showing the part. Heels on line, hands make fist in front of your hip. We're going to have a cross with one arm fist. You understand that? Yes, sir. And just like before, on that fast feature attack, he's going to do an overhead of pelvis. Here we go. Yes, sir. Here we go. Yeah. Now, already, already going. It's grab, push, grab. What is it? Grab, push, grab. We're gonna go over that first hand and reach for the second hand. Gonna go. Yes, yes, sir. And it's just the same. The right thumb gets placed on the back of his hand in the center. Wait and, and grab. You understand that? Yes, yes sir. sir. Already going. It's grab, push, grab. What is it? Grab, push, grab. Ready. One. Grab, push, grab. Hold. is facing him. He's going to start causing some pain on his forearm. He's going to get in the inverted L position. You understand that? Yes, yes, sir. Just like so. Now, my ready two is bend and drive. What is it? Bend and drive, sir. And you're going to bend that hand straight towards his forearm. Did he go? Yes, yes sir. sir. You're going to try to the right foot, and he's going to land on his face. You're going to lock his arm out immediately with your left knee. My ready two is bend and drive. What is it? Bend and drive, sir. Bend and two. Bend and drive. Just like so, did he go? Yes, sir. Now, and we can see that his face is in the dark, you understand that? Yes, sir. And before, he was facing me, right? Yes, sir. Now his face is on the deck, did he go? Yes, sir. My left knee locks out his arm, is it not? Yes, sir. Stand up straight. If, he have, if you have short arm or he has short arm, pull him up, did he go? Yes, sir. Thumb underneath the knuckle line, the fingers above the wrist line, and I'm good to go, you understand that? Yes, sir. 
just like before, I'm applying pressure three times straight toward the deck. Kill sound off will allow me to kill, just like so. Kill! 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 Now, this one, if this one works a lot better than before, you understand that? Yes, sir. There's more pain involved in this one. And also, if you have a, a limber recruit or a limber attacker in combat, you can take that right boot and make them eat it. Good to go? Yes, sir. Here we go. Take that right hand defenders and pass that first hand. Go above, pass it, place your right thumb on the back of his hand. Fingers, wrap them around the meat portion of his palm. Twist that hand so it's pacing him. Twist it. He should be getting an inverted L position now. Keep your elbow in tight like port arms. Twist his head. And bring that left hand and more image which is with the right hand. Do it. Right His fingertips should be towards the sky. His hands should be chest level. Here we go. My ready two is bed and drive. What is it? Bed and drive. Sound off with my ism as you execute the movement. Good to go? Yes, sir. Here we go. Ready two. Bed and drive. Stand up straight. Stand up straight. Now, what I tell you to, we're going to apply pressure straight down towards the floor until we sound off. We're live versus kill, and we're going to do it three times. Here we go. 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 Elbows in tight like port arms. My ready two is bed and drive. What is it? Bed and drive. Ready two. Bed and drive. Stand up straight. Stand up with that. Now apply pressure three times to the deck straight through. Technique, you understand that? Yes, sir. The mission of this movement is to kill an individual. Did he go? Yes, sir. Now, this movement we're going to go over is called counter to a front choke. What is it? Counter to a front choke, sir. What we're going to teach you is how to defend yourself when somebody comes at you and, and tries to execute a front choke. You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay, now, just like before, on my command sushi attack, my attacker is going to do an open hand of pill grab. Did he go? Yes, sir. Except this time, he's going to go a little bit higher on my chest because he's simulating a front choke. He's not going to choke me, but he's going to put his hands a little bit higher than usual. You understand that? Yes, sir. Here we go. Attack! Yeah! Just like so. Did he go? Yes, sir. Now, I ready one is break step grab. What is it? Break step grab. Now, what is it? Break step grab. First thing we're gonna do on that ready on that ready one break, we're gonna break his arm. Did he go? Yes, sir. How we're gonna do that is we're gonna take our right fist and we're gonna shoot it in between both his arms and we're gonna achieve wrist on wrist contact. At the same time, you're gonna break your left forearm and strike the outboard side of his elbow. Did he go? Yes, sir. Uh, this happens at the same time. You're gonna bring your right wrist up and your left forearm up, striking the wrist and the elbow and you're going to break his arm. Did he go? Yes, sir. In combat, you'll break his arm. But in training, he's going to have his arm slightly bent with extreme muscular tension. Did he go? Yes, sir. That is the safety, and it's on my attacker. It's on who? My attacker, sir. On who? My attacker. Safety is on the attacker. Did he go? Yes, sir. Now, for the step, you're going to take your right leg and trace a giant C with your right foot. You understand that? Yes, sir. Just like so. Putting him in the inverted L position. You're gonna take your right hand and manipulate it so that you grab him in a suitcase style grab. You carry a suitcase like this, right? Yes, sir. You're gonna grab him. When you get done, it's gonna look just like so. His hand is almost gonna be in your right pocket. Good to go. Yes, sir. His arm is gonna be up against your waist. Good to go. Yes, sir. 
your left forearm is going to apply pressure on the broken lip. Good to go. Yes, sir. Right on the elbow, it's going to always apply pressure on the broken lip. Good to go. Yes, sir. That's my ready one. Break step grab. Good to go. Yes, sir. Now, my ready two is kick in place. What is it? Kick in place, sir. Now, in combat, you take the right leg, which is cocked back, and you drive, you drive your, that, you drive your foot, your right foot, in the, right in the nose, you understand that? Yes, sir. You aim for the nose, the bridge of his nose, try to shove that bone in his, in his brain housing group. Did it go? Yes, yes, sir. Now, in training, we're not going to do that. Did it go? Yes, yes sir. sir. He's going to have a safety. His elbow is going to be in towards his belt buckle, hand may fist, palm towards the deck, with his screen muscular tension. Covering up his face. Did it go? Yes, yes sir. sir. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take that right foot and you're going to execute a vicious football style kick with a meaty portion of his safety. Good to go. Yes, sir. Your foot's going to land right in front of his face. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right, ready to is kick in place. What is it? Kick in place, sir. No, what is it? Kick in place. Here we go. Ready! Two! Kick in place. Just like so. You understand that? Yes, sir. You always maintain pressure on the elbow. The foot lands right in front of his face. Good to go. Yes, sir. All right, ready three is switching twist. What is it? Switching twist, sir. We need to change the hand, this hand, to our left hand. Good to go? Yes, sir. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this hand that's in our right hand, and we're going to shove it in this armpit. Take a little chicken wing. You understand that? Yes, sir. We're going to change from the right to the left, just like so, and bring this hand towards our left side, in our left pocket. Good to go? Yes, sir. We're going to raise up on the balls of our feet and pivot towards his rear. He's going to grab a piece of sweatshirt in between his shoulder blades. Good to go? Yes, yes sir. Once again, my ready three is switch and twist. What is it? Switch, switch and twist. twist, sir. Ready! Three! Switch, switch and twist. twist. Just like so. Good to go? Yes, sir. Now, my ready four is sweep. What is it? Sweep. What is it? Sweep. Now, in combat, you take your right cutting edge of the right heel, and you bring it up waist high and strike the Achilles tendon. Good to go? Yes, sir. But today, we're in training. We're not going to do that. You're going to still bring that cutting edge of that heel Waist high, you understand that? Yes, sir. But you're going to aim for calf on calf contact. Good to go? Yes, sir. Aim that cutting is that heel in between his two feet and achieve calf on calf contact. Good to go? Yes, sir. You hold down to this hand. You don't let it go. Good to go? Yes, sir. And once you feel that calf, you let go of this hand and bring it up to your right side in a good guard position. So you got to sweep him straight towards the deck. You're not going to stop here. All right, ready for is sweet. What is it? Sweet. No, what is it? Sweet. How high? Way up, sir. No, how high? Way up, sir. Here we go. Ready. Four. Sweet. Just like so. Good to go? Yes, sir. Bring that right arm up in a good guard position, guarding the right side of your body. Just like so. Good to go? Yes, sir. Because my race six is stop. What is it? Stop. No, what is it? Stop. This is the killing blow. Good to go? Yes, sir. This is what's going to kill him. You understand that? Yes, sir. In combat, you take your right heel and you bring it up waist high. How high? Waist high. And you stop your attacker on the face, right on the bridge of his nose. Good to go? Yes, sir. But we're in training. We're not going to do that. We're going to get parallel to our attacker, just like so. You're going to bring the cranes of that right heel waist high. How high? Waist high. And you're going to stop your attacker eight inches from the near side of his face. Which is this side right here, you understand that? Yes, sir. I raise six and stop. What is it? Stop. No, what is it? Stop. Ready. Stop. Six. Stop. Take that right hand, wrist on wrist contact, do it. Left forearm strikes the point of his elbow, do it. Now, take that right foot, take trace a giant C and change the grass, change the grass into a suitcase style grab, do it. All right, ready to is kick in place. What is it? Kick in place. Make sure you have your safety. Now, one towards the belt buckle, hand and fist, palm towards the deck. You ask you a vicious football style kick to the meaty portion of a safety. Your foot lands in front of his face. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right, ready to is kick in place. What is it? Kick in place, sir. Here we go. Ready. Two. Kick in place. And we're going to take this switch and twist step by step. Here we go. Yes, sir. Take that arm that's in your right hand and shove it in the arm and do it. Change the grasp from your right to your left. Do it. Bring that hand towards your left pocket. Do it. 
Now, pivot on the balls of your feet towards his rear. Do it. Grab a piece of sweatshirt to the shoulder blades. Now, his hand should be in your left pocket. Your right leg should be cocked to the rear. My ready three is switch and twist. What is it? Switch and twist. Here we go. Ready! Three! Switch and twist. Here we go. How high? Waist high. How high? Waist high. You should be seeing your bootlaces when you sweep. Here we go. That was nowhere near waist high. Get back. Can you bring it down with four? Yes, sir. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Ready five is stop. What is it? Stop. What is it? Stop. Here we go. Ready five. Stop. Hey, come on. Stop. Hot. Kick. Kick. Place that grab. Kick. Kick and place. Kick. Place. Twist. 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 Feet shoulder apart, heels on the line, knees slightly bent. Now the fender should have that right leg cocked back. 
Take a step forward with that right foot, just like so. <coughs> hey, what you're gonna do with that right foot is you're gonna throw your attacker off balance. You understand that? Yes, sir. Now that left hand comes straight up towards the sky. Finger stand joint, thumb on the hand, and it's gonna come up all the way to your attacker's forehead. You understand that? Yes, sir. Now in combat, you take your middle finger and your index finger. And you execute a eyeball gouge, you understand that? Yes, sir. And you take his eyeballs and rip them out of his socket, you understand that? Yes, sir. And you would stand straight up with his eye, with your finger still in his eyeballs, you understand that? Yes, sir. But we're in training and we're not gonna do that, you understand that? Yes, sir. All you're gonna simply do is you're gonna bring that left hand all the way up towards his forehead, finger stand joint, thumb on the hand, and you execute a slap to the forehead, you understand that? Yes, sir. And you're gonna stand up straight up. And you're gonna pull back on his head, making your attacker form a arch with his body. You understand that? Yes, sir. And you are also exposing his throat. You understand that? Yes, sir. Once again, my ready one is slap and stand. What is it? Slap and stand. No, what is it? Slap and stand. Ah, Slap. One. Slap and stand. Hey, just like so. Could you go? Yes, sir. Now, my ready two. Is grab, twist, pull, strike. What is it? Grab, twist, pull, strike. Now, my safety's on my attacker. His left arm is up, a tension in front of his face. Elbow in towards the belt buckle, hand and fist, palm towards the sky, covering up his throat. You understand that? Yes, sir. In combat, you'd execute a groin strike to his groins. You grab him, twist him, pull straight up, and with that same hand, you'd execute a hammer fist strike to the voice box. Now, in combat, hey, that voice box. Well, that trachea would swell up and cut off, cut off his air into his body, you understand that? Yes, sir. Causing your attacker to suffocate and die, you understand that? Yes, sir. But we're in training, we're not going to do that. My, my attacker is going to have to trust my defender. His main safety is going to be covering up his throat, you understand that? Yes, sir. You will not execute that hammer fist strike if his safety is not covering up his, his throat, you understand that? Yes, sir. Now, once again, that safety is in front of his throat. You're gonna ensure, defenders, that you execute a groin strike to the inboard portion of his thigh, you understand that? Yes, sir. You're gonna grab, you're gonna twist, and you're gonna pull straight up. You're gonna raise up on the balls of your feet, and with that same hand, you're gonna execute a hammer fist strike to the meat portion of his forearm until your attacker goes straight on the deck, just like so, you understand that? Yes, sir. Once again, 
My ready two is grab, twist, pull, strike. What is it? Grab, twist, pull, strike. No, we sound tired. What is it? Grab, twist, pull, strike. Here we go. Ready two. Grab, twist, pull, strike. Hey, just like so, you understand that? Yes, sir. Hey, simple, is it not? comes out, all you're gonna do is slide and hook. What is it? Slide hook! My ready one is slide and hook. What is it? Slide hook! Hey, you are my attacker. Good to go. Yes, sir. You are my defender. Good to go. Yes, sir. Now, my defender, all he's simply gonna do is he's gonna slide in all the way into his armpit. You're gonna get that hand and place it on the left side of your face. Good to go. Yes, sir. Slide in all the way underneath his armpit, right? Yes, sir. So he can't retract that and punch you again, right? Yes, sir. Slide. And hook, you're gonna take that right hand, place it on the back of the head, right? Yes, sir. And bring that left hand on top of it, tracing that C with that right foot, right? Yes, sir. Hey, he's in the inverted L position again, right? Yes, sir. Here we go. My ready one is slide and hook. What is it? Slide hook. Ready, one. Slide hook. He's in the inverted L position, safety's up, right? Yes, yes sir. Come around, guys. Hey, what do you think my ready two is? Knee in place. Knee in place, right? Yes, sir. Ready two. Knee in place. My ready three. My ready three is circle, slide, and grab. What is it? Circle, slide, and grab. Come on, guys. Come on. Hey, all he's going to do with that left arm, turn him all the way around, guys. Take that left arm, circle underneath that armpit, keeping that elbow up high, right? Yes, yes sir. Sliding that arm down. Putting it on your hip, pivoting on the balls of your feet, and grabbing, right? Yes, sir. That's my circle slide and grab, right? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Here we go. What is this? Circle slide and grab, sir. What is it? Circle slide and grab, sir. Ready? Three. Circle slide and grab. Hey, my ready four is sweep. What is it? Sweep. Feet are shoulder with part, heels on line, knees slightly bent. Cutting edge of heel comes waist high. Oh, oh. Waist high. Cat to calf contact. Ready? Strike! I'm ready five to stop. What is it? Stop! What is it? Stop! What is it? Stop! He's gonna take the cutting edge of the heel, bring it up waist high. How high? Waist high! How high? Waist high! And he's gonna drive eight to ten inches to the near side of his head, right? Yes, sir! Cutting edge of the heel, right? Yes, sir! Here we go. Ready, five! Stop! Ah!
counter to the lead hand punch, right? Yes, sir. And we, obviously, we want to counter that lead hand punch for a reason, right? Yes, sir. Hey, if he connects, hey, you're going to be unconscious. You're not going to be able to defend yourself, right? Yes, sir. Now, the next movement I'll explain and demonstrate is counter to the rear hand punch. What is it? Counter to the rear hand punch, sir. Now, my rear hand punch is a punch coming from an inexperienced fighter. He's doing a haymaker style punch. Good to go? Yes, sir. Hey, that hand is coming around wide. Hey, Mike Tyson uses that, right? Yes, sir. Hey, he uses that wide looping punch, right? Yes, sir. When he connects, it hurts, does it not? Yes, sir. So we want to counter that, right? Yes, sir. Hey, between your bicep and your forearm. Good to go? Yes, sir. You're going to push down. You're going to push down right here. We're going to get him up on his toes. Good to go? Yes, sir. All ready, three is grab, smash, hook. What is it? Grab, smash, hook. What is it? Grab, smash, hook. Ready, three. Grab, smash, hook. All ready, four is twist. What is it? Twist. Some of you I know are going to be doing this trash, and we're going to, hey, you're going to, you're going to be trying to throw him, throw him. We're not throwing, understand me? Yes, sir. We've got him off balance. We're trying to break that arm going this way, you understand me? Yes, sir. We're pushing down, good to go. Yes, sir. We're pulling up, good to go. Yes, sir. All ready for is twist. What is it? Twist. Ready, four. Twist. Automatically, you bring your guard up, right? Yes, sir. Perpendicular to my attacker, right? Yes, sir. Hey, in actual situation, you're going to take the cutting edge of the heel, bring it up waist high. How high? Waist high. You're going to drive it to the bridge of his nose, causing him to bleed through his nose, possibly a concussion, right? Yes, sir. Hey, but this is training, right? Yes, sir. Hey, he needs to have his safety up. Safety's on who? Attack, sir. Safety's on who? Attack, sir. He need to turn perpendicular, right? Yes, sir. His safety's up. His palm is towards the sky. Fingers curled and fists like fashion. Elbow in towards the belt buckle. Eight to ten inches away from his face with extreme muscular tension, right? Yes, sir. Hey, we are going to take our cutting edge of the heel and bring it up waist high. How high? Waist high. And we're going to drive it eight to ten inches to the nearest side of his head. That's the same side that I'm standing on. Good to go? Yes, sir. Hey, did I say stomp over here? No, sir. Did I say stomp over here? No, sir. No, I said stomp to the nearest side. Good to go? Yes, sir. You got to bring the cutting edge there. He'll waste time driving in the deck. Sound to go for the loud and vicious war cry. Loud and vicious what? War cry, sir. Here we go. My ready five is stomp. What is it? Stomp. What is it? Stomp. Ready five. Stomp. <laughs> Both of your palms. 
My ready three is Grab Smash Hook. What is it? Grab Smash Hook. What is it? Grab Smash Hook. Ready three. Grab Smash Hook. Grab the face of that wrist. Grab the face of that wrist. Push down. Pull up. Get him on his toes. My ready four is twist. What is it? Twist. What is it? Twist. Ready four. Twist. Get your guards up. Safety's up. Elbow in towards the bubble. Palm towards the sky. And then the heel comes out high. What is that? What is that? I'm ready to stop. What is it? Stop. What is it? Stop. Eight to ten inches away from your face. Ready. Four. Stop. Get back. Hey, get back to my stomp. What? Why are my stomps coming up with my leg bent? I know when I came up with my leg, it was straight, right? Yes, sir. Cutting edge of heel comes into the deck. And then drive it into, into the deck, deck. you understand me? Yes, yes sir. That Solos kicks up on that attacker, then we did it right, you understand me? Yes, yes sir. Our legs should be straight, shouldn't come down like we're stomping, like we're starting a motorcycle, you understand me? Yes, yes sir. It comes straight down to the deck, you're trying to crush that head, you understand me? Yes, yes sir. That is my killing blow, you understand me? Yes, sir. I'm ready to find the stomp, what is it? Stomp. What is it? Stomp. My line two deals with all my punches and kicks, you understand that? Yes, sir. We learned lead hand punch, we learned <laughs> rear hand punch. Today you're gonna learn my uppercut, you understand that? Yes, sir. The first movement I'm gonna teach you is counter to an uppercut. What is it? Counter to an uppercut, sir. No, we sound tight. What is it? Counter to an uppercut, sir. Right, once again, my attacker, all you're gonna do is execute a basic uppercut towards your midsection. A basic uppercut, just like they do in boxing, you understand that? Yes, sir. Now, my ready one is block. What is it? Block. No, we sound tired. What is it? Block. All, your, all the defense is going to simply do is with that left hand, you can execute a low block, <coughs> achieving rest to wrist contact, just like so. Both <laughs> palms face the defender's right side. You understand that? Yes, sir. No, you understand that? Yes, sir. Once again, my ready one is block. What is it? Block. What is it? Block. Ready. Punch! Wrist to wrist contact, both palms face the same way. Now, my ready two is strike and hook. What is it? Strike and hook! No, what is it? Strike and hook! That right hand, you're gonna use the meaty portion of your palm. You're gonna strike the inboard portion of his elbow with your right hand, palm towards the sky. Just like so, you understand that? Yes, sir! Now we see that gap created right there. Hey, where are my football players and my wrestlers at? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We heard about shoot the gap. Yes, yes sir. You heard that term before? Yes, sir. What you're going to do now is you're going to shoot that gap created by your attacker. You understand that? Yes, sir. When you strike, you're going to shoot the gap just like you did. And line 2-1, you're going to bring that hand all the way to the rear of his head. You understand that? Yes, sir. Now, at the same time, you're shooting that gap, placing that right hand on top of his brake. You're going to bring that left hand from behind. And you're going to bring it on top of that right hand, and now you're going to trace the seat with that right foot, putting your attacker in the inverted L position. You understand that? Yes, sir. Left hand over right hand, just like so, on the back of his grate. You understand that? Yes, sir. That left, his arm now is locked on my left shoulder. You maintain pressure so he cannot take control of the situation. You understand that? Yes, sir. Right leg is cocked back. Now, if you do not put those two hands on the top of his grate, if you put him on top of his neck, hey, what can happen? Yeah. Hey, he can stand up, can he not? Yes, sir. Hey, because his doggone, if I put my hands on his neck, all I'm using is my, bi my biceps. And his back, his back muscles are stronger than my biceps, you understand that? Yes, sir. But once I put my hands on the top of his head, all he can use is his neck muscles. And now my biceps are stronger than his neck muscles, you understand that? Yes, sir. And wherever I go, 
he goes. You understand that? Yes, sir. Wherever I go, he goes. Because my, my arm muscles are stronger than his neck. You understand that? Yes, sir. My knee, as I'm maintaining pressure on his head, I'm going to take that knee in combat. And once again, I'm going to aim towards his face for the bridge of his nose. You understand that? Yes, sir. Now, the force of that knee is going to shove my foot right in front of his face. You understand that? Yes, sir. But we're in training. We're not going to do that. We're going to aim We're going to aim for the meaty portion of his forearm. You understand that? Yes, sir. The force of that knee is going to land that foot right in front of his face. You understand that? Yes, sir. Once again, my ready three is knee in place. What is it? Knee in place. What is it? Knee in place. Here we go. <coughs> ready! Three! Knee in place. Now, my ready four is circle sliding grab. What is it? Circle sliding grab. No, what is it? Circle sliding grab. Once again, I take that left arm. I trace a small C around his little armpit. I'm going to take that same hand, slide it, and grab his wrist. I'm going to raise up on the balls of my feet, pivot his rear, and grab a piece of sweatshirt in between the shoulder blades. Now his hand is almost in my left pocket. You understand that? Yes, sir. Once again, my ready four is circle slide grab. What is it? Circle slide grab. No, what is it? Circle slide grab. Here we go. Ready! Three! Circle slide grab. Now, what am I set up for now? Swimming. What is it? Swimming. How high? Place high. How high? Place high. Safety is on my attacker. His feet are shoulder with apart, heels on line. The knees are slightly bent. That hand is almost in my pocket. Ready! Four! Swing! Just like so, you understand that? Yes, sir. Automatically get parallel to your attacker. Now, his safety is automatic. That arm is locked out with your left knee. Bring that cut into that heel waist high. Stop eight inches from the near side of his face. <coughs> you will sound up my war cry, you understand that? Yes, sir. No, you understand that? Yes, sir. Here we go. Ready!
fast movement of line two is counter to a front kick. What is it? Counter to a front kick, sir! Now what is it? Counter to a front kick, sir! <coughs> my ready one, my ready one is Perry. What is it? Perry! Now what is it? Perry! Now, my attacker, hey, you're gonna make sure when I get you out in the dojo, we're gonna make sure you have double arms. Arm interval, you understand that? Yes, sir. That leg is longer than the arm, you understand that? Yes, sir. Now, on my ready one, all my attacks are going to do is a basic front kick. I had to keep kicking my groin, you understand that? Yes, sir. If we're not going to let him do that, you understand that? Yes, sir. In line, a weaker limb always parries a stronger limb. Did it go? Yes, sir. The arm is the weaker limb, and the, the, the leg is stronger, you understand that? Yes, sir. It's a bigger muscle, it's a lot longer, you understand that? Yes, sir. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to parry his kick with my left hand. He's going to throw a kick. He's going to execute a kick with his right leg. I'm going to use my left leg. Finger thin join. Thumb along the hand. Fingertips towards sky. I'm going to use a meaty portion of my palm. And I'm going to parry that kick anywhere in between his knee and his ankle. You understand that? I'm going to throw that kick. I'm going to parry that kick. I'm going to shove it towards my right side. Making his body slightly turn, you understand that? Yes, sir. Once again, my ready one is Perry. What is it? Perry! No, what is it? Perry! One! Perry! Just like so, you understand that? Yes, sir. See how I threw him off balance? Yes, sir. Hey, that's what you need to do, you understand that? Yes, sir. Now, we see that his back. His, his back is almost completely towards me, you understand that? Yes, sir. That's what you want to get. You want your dog on attacker's back. You understand that? Yes, sir. That way he can't be throwing no punches at you. And right now, he has no idea what's going on because he can't see me. You understand that? Yes, sir. Now, my ready two is grab and kick. What is it? Grab and kick. No, what is it? Grab and kick. Now, my knees, <coughs> the knees of the human body only move forward and aft. You understand that? Yes, sir. Do they move side to side? No, sir. What you would do in combat is you grab a piece of material so you can maintain, yes, maintain your balance, you understand that? Yes, sir. You'd grab a piece of, a piece of material yes, anywhere sir. on his upper body and you'd raise up on one knee, you bring you yes, cock that right leg up and you strike the, the portion, the outboard portion of his knee yes, inboard, you understand that? Yes, sir. And you step on it and drive him towards deck, you understand that? Yes, sir. And while he's down there, you're squishing on his freaking knee that just broke off his bone, you understand that? Yes, sir. You're crushing that kneecap, you understand that? Yes, sir. He's done for the day, you understand that? Yes, sir. Hey, but we're in training, we're not going to do that, you understand that? Yes, sir. That's only in a combat situation or in an actual situation, you understand that? Yes, sir. You'd kick towards the side and drive it straight towards the deck. That knee's going to start split in half, you understand that? Yes, sir. He's done. Now, in training, what you're going to do today you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a piece of a piece of a city, city shirt right on the upper portion of his shoulder. You're gonna raise up on one knee, on one foot. You're gonna bring, you're gonna cock that right leg, and you're gonna brush, slightly brush the side of his knee. Once my attacker feels that boot, he's gonna automatically get down on both knees. You understand that? Yes, sir. Just like so. Once again, my ready two is grab and kick. What is it? Grab and kick. No, what is it? Grab and kick. Once again, when you parry, you automatically come to the guard position. You understand that? Yes, sir. I'm ready to is grabbing kick. What is it? Grabbing kick. No, what is it? Grabbing kick. Ready. Two. Grabbing kick. Just like so. You understand that? Yes, sir. Now, we're simulating that your boot is on his on the dog on back of his knee. You understand that? Yes, sir. All you're going to do is you're going to place that boot right next to his knee. You understand that? Yes, sir. Now, I'm ready three. Is slap and strike. What is it? Slap and strike. No, what is it? Slap and strike. Now, once again, we're in combat situation. You take your left hand, middle finger, and index finger, and you take those two fingers and gouge his eyeball right over the socket and pop them out. You understand that? Yes, sir. And, well, and you leave those fingers in there and tw and and dog on tickle his brain. You understand that? Yes, sir. And the next thing you do is you bring that right hand and a hammer fist strike. To the voice box, you understand that? Yes, sir. That voice box swells up, and he's done for the day, you understand that? Yes, sir. It's raining, but what you're going to do is, you're going to take that left hand, finger that joint, thumb on the hand, that's you a slap to the forehead, you understand that? Yes, sir. You're going to pull back on his head. My attacker automatically gets a safety up. Elbow in towards the belt muscle, forearm, eight tensions from his face, 
and a fist. Hawthorne's done. You're going to bring that right hand up, and a fist, and a fist strike to the meaty portion of his forearm. You understand that? Yes, sir. Once you strike his forearm, he automatically goes to the deck. You understand that? Yes, sir. You come up in the guard, and you sound off my war cry. You understand that? Yes, sir. Once again, counter to a front kick. Hey, Austin! Face war, hands up, feet apart, hands up, elbows and chin down. Face war, hands up, sir. My ready one is Perry. What is it? Perry. No, what is it? Perry. 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 Our ready two is grab and kick. What is it? Grab and kick. Our ready three is slap and strike. What is it? Slap and strike. Ready! Three. Slap and strike. This completes instruction for the first 12 moves of the line technique. Remember that these are defensive moves and can result in very serious bodily injury. They should be used with extreme discretion and only when you are placed in a life-threatening situation.